Hi, everybody. My name is David Deitch, and I'm an advisory solution consultant with ServiceNow, specializing in our ITOM product. Today, we're going to talk about AI-powered service operations and how we can deliver extraordinary experiences and keep services running 24-7, utilizing the ServiceNow platform. In a modern IT environment and modern enterprise environment, there are business imperatives. And one that we're facing today is to automate and optimize technology service operations. We need to reimagine seamless, always on technology services, no matter what. And specifically, we wanna drive technology best practices with optimized and efficient processes. To do that, we want to prioritize service issues and identify those root causes faster. And that's what we'll focus on today. What I have here today is a ServiceNow environment that's connected to my lab at home. I'm looking at the alerts, and I have no alerts from today. I'm looking at our change requests, and I also have no change requests from today. Lastly. I have a box folder where I'm storing my configuration files. Specifically, we're looking at switch 10. So what I'm going to do now is actually log into switch 10 and make some changes. We'll go to interface 15. Uh, we'll change the description for a demo. And it looks like we're doing this on 419 at 6.02 p.m. So we'll use that with port mode access, uh, switch port, trunk, allow, VLAN. Okay, I've made enough changes. Let me go ahead and end and write my change. What's happening right now is I've configured this switch to send a trap to my server. Once that trap is received, ServiceNow jumps into action and goes ahead and starts the procedure to copy this config off and store it in the cloud. So I have a disaster recovery copy to attach it to the alert in ServiceNow and to track it in ServiceNow so I can see the changes. Let's go ahead and look what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my alerts screen. And I have four different alerts that have come in. I can see my running config file change, and I can see my startup config file change. And then I've gone ahead, and each time there was a change, we've gone ahead and retrieved that config. Let's go ahead and look at the alert for the startup config file change. ServiceNow has automatically reached out and attached the new config I'll bring it over to the screen to display and we'll go down the change I've made we can see it's got my new line 419 602 p.m. you can see that it's created a change and attached that to the alert if I refresh my change request screen we can see it show up here it's an unauthorized change has been detected. And I can easily get to that change from the alert that caused it. I'll go ahead and open the record and we can see that there was no record of the change in the system. So ServiceNow created the record automatically to track the change that was made. We can see on the affected CIs, not only did we affect the switch, but we've also affected the track configuration file. And I'm directly linked there. We can see the change that I just made. And we can actually go ahead and view the diff of the two versions, the older version and the newer version. And we can see that it's now updated to what I just said. 
switch port mode is accessed. And we've removed the switch port trunk allowed VLAN because I told it to go to switch port trunk allowed VLAN all. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and refresh my box drive. And we can see that I've stored those new config files offsite in an area I can get to them if I need them, should my switch go away. They're also in service now to be retrieved there. So within a minute of making a change, I knew exactly that change was made. I was able to check to see if there was a change record, create that change record, and know exactly the scope of what that change was. If in 10 minutes I receive an incident, it's going to be very easy for me to figure out what changed in my environment and how to change it back so that I can quickly remediate the issue that was caused. Thank you so much for viewing my video today. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great one.